Commonwealth of Australia, land of many frontiers, lone stepping stone across the vast Pacific to the mysterious brooding islands of the Malayan archipelago, last outpost of the art and culture of the Western world. Our story takes us to Melbourne. Melbourne, birthplace of Nellie Melba, the famous coloratura soprano, Australia's gift to American opera. Appearing here, as a token of appreciation for Melbourne's glorious gift are two distinguished concert artists steeped in the tradition of America's classical music. Just floating. That's Chester, the trombone king. He gets his shirt straight from Paris, cigarettes from the Nile. He talks like an eyebrow, but he plays Chicago style. He gets his shoes made in London and the real crocodile. But he plays trombone, Chicago style, and he sometimes. But sweet or how he's always got that real gut bucket beat. He's got a neat Latin mustache and the girls love his smile. He plays trombone, Chicago style. A trombone made in music, baby, Chicago style. daughter Shh. you'll cover up my partner's taps they both proposed to me well verna we're both crazy about you we've been fighting over you all week really? yeah and i won harold's gonna marry her well you see what i got lined up for you boy what is it a dame what else would i line up for you what's wrong with her oh she's a doll oh, she's really a bell. yeah cut it down to two encores okay. let's move time getting the lead out of his feet, but there he is. I'll never forget. We were down in... Whoa. Don't bend the wardrobe. Is this the boat that popped the question? Both of them did. <laughs> you know. Harold, darling, this is the happiest day of my life. Yeah, then why spoil it with a wedding? But, darling, I want to marry you. Uh, 
Well, George. Well, fine. I'll be best man. Good. See ya. What? Boy, have I got something cooked up for you. Yeah? Put it in the deep freeze. Didn't a similar situation occur in Allentown in 47? Thanks for the memory. Let's get out of here fast. A trombone made in Munich played in Chicago style. This will drive him crazy when it doesn't come back. Yeah, come on. You, come back here. Stop, I'm not on your way. Gentlemen, I've told you, there are no two actors traveling together on this train. There's one of them. Pilot the belly gunner, bailing out. Wouldn't listen to me, would you? Let's stow away on a boat to Frisco, I said. No, no, you said, let's hop a rattler. You take the upper, you said, I'll take the lower. You had a sub-lower. Besides, look at the money I saved you on tip, boy. Get plenty of fresh air, you said. <laughs> Not me, I said. Hide underneath, you said. They'll never find you. I said. You're gonna ride inside, keep an eye out. I said. You know what kills me? What's the matter now? You never listen to me. That's what kills me. And where are we now? We're lost. Yakety, That's yakety, where we yakety, are. Yakety, yakety, yeah. yakety. Come on, we got mm -hmm. some traveling to do. Travel. On your feet, elbow nose. Come on here. Drop that beak. The day I met you, there were vultures in the sky. Should have taken that for an omen. Those were bluebirds. Now stop worrying. I'll get you out of this. No, don't look. Don't get me out of things. Stop getting me into things, will you? Look, Harold. No. Oh, I'll be darned. French poodle. No, those are sheep. We're safe. I don't trust you or the sheep. Don't you see, Harold? Wherever there's sheep, there's a farm. Wherever there's a farm, there's a farmer. And wherever there's a farmer, there's a farmer's daughter. Now you're getting me into trouble again. Come on. Let's walk. Don't yeah. run. You know, for a couple of guys on the land, we're in pretty good company. We're, we're poor little lambs who have lost our way. Was helpful, wasn't it? Fred Waring must have played through here. Be dirty, but we're healthy. Yes, sir. Every time they dip the sheep, they dipped us. Say, why don't we stick with them? We may get sheared, too. <laughs> I'm beginning to like it. What have we here? Those are for Argyle socks. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. Here we go. Ah, oh, here we are, here we are. Mighty attractive opening there for a fella if he likes work, huh? Who's next to closing? That's this for me. You can't cook. Well, I can learn while you wash the dishes, buddy. Oh, oh no, no. I'll cook and you'll wash the dishes. You can stack them behind your ears to dry. Oh, see here. Now. That's your agree, mates. Right, here. Yeah. Come in. Scratch. Scratch. There goes the daily double. 
What a pity. Just when I was going to let you have your way, too. <laughs> Say, I haven't looked for work since I was night watchman at Vassar. That's before we were in the cough drop business. <laughs> These electric razors, there's nothing like them, huh? Yeah, this Take a mowing machine to get this hedge knocked off. Or on the lamb or hiding. Uh, hmm? how long can you hold your breath, Junior? My breath? Well, I, uh, you... Oh, Prince Kenarok. Back again, eh? You must help me. I need sea divers again. Not a flaming chance, and you know it. Four divers shipped out to your island already, and never came back. Fine men, too, but they met with accidents. Accidents, my eye. We all know about Bogaten. Bogaten is a legend. Then why don't you get your own people to dive? If Bogaten is only a blooming legend. People of that too are superstitious and still believe in witchcraft. There ain't no witchcraft done them men in. Look here, Prince. You couldn't get any diver in Australia to take on your job. Not for all the beer in Darwin. Well, Buster, looks like the briny deep for us. Huh? Up along upstairs now. Will you complete the necessary arrangements? Go along. Oh, hmm? well, why me? Why don't you go up? No elevator. Remember, you're a much younger man than I am. Who isn't? I'll be oh. along now. Excuse me, sir. Yes? But are you a deep sea diver? Well, I'm just a graduate of UCUW. That's the uh, University of California underwater. Oh, an American. Mm -hmm. Then perhaps you would be interested in a job that would bring you rich rewards. Well, of course. Candidly, rich rewards do remove a good deal of the dullness from uh, mere work, I guess. Yes, that's true. What's the pitch? Sunken treasure. Treasure? Well, I'll have it up for you in a jiffy. I must tell you one thing, though. I, I don't do the actual diving myself. I have another boy for that. I remain on deck, and I operate the pump. Oh, but excellent. Your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I'll have that treasure up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. And believe me, I know how to shake a lamb's tail. Oh, there's one little thing I must explain. You see, I'm not actually the diver. I'm the pump man. I have a friend who does the diving. Is your friend experienced? Oh, he's been underwater half his life. He used to be a lifeguard in a car wash. Yeah. Where is this island of yours, Prince? A few days' journey across the sea on the road to Bali. You will love that, too. It is an island paradise. Girls, huh? Could it be a paradise without girls? Welcome to the club. Oh, I must cable mother to send my other lips. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did I make a terrific deal. I knew you'd do it, you oh, little genius. Oh, you. Did it. Good. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a deal, boy. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Ah. Well, these threads are a little beat. If we're showing off for paradise, we'd better slip into our linens, eh? Gong uh -huh. will take care of your needs. We will sail at sundown. Sundown. It's perfect. I freckle, you know. Of Girls' paradise money. What a jackpot. And you did it all with your own little boy. Oh, way. my little head. Yeah. yeah. All say muscles. Take our luggage, will you? Here you are. Don't get these mixed up now. Mine's blue for boys. Say, Sam, mm. is that the way all the natives dress on your island? Really? George, huh? you supposed not a chance. Stick around, folks. He could be wrong, you know. Cast off. Who?
the moon flowers may bloom for me. I'll watch the path that winds by the wishing tree. It ends beneath my window. Isn't it beautiful? It's the tartan of my father's clan. Highness, your cousin, Prince Kenarok. He is here. I will see him alone. You girls may leave. Hey, things are picking up. Case the local architecture. Yeah. Built like brick pagodas. <laughs> well, look at that, too. They look like Americans. <laughs> look what Kenna Rock brought. They are not bad. You think they are sailors? Too bad they're oh, all in the of them. We've been swimming. Yeah. They must have got our wires. Oh, uh, <laughs> we got to ration ourselves down here, you oh, know? Let's get the box lunches and head for the high country, oh, Murgatroyd. Yeah. I don't know which way to turn. Everything <laughs> looks so good. Oh, don't get mm. tied down. This may just be the older stuff, oh, you know. Oh, he's terrible. Oh, no. What's that? It's Errol Flynn. He can't stand it. Okay. Oh, make yourself available, huh? Yes. We'll meet you at the drive in by. You'll hear from our local brand. I'll send you my suit size and everything. Isn't it nice to know we still got that old magnetism? Hey, that sea air must have recharged our batteries. I feel like I've had a complete overhaul. Oh, if we can get our speedometers turned back now, we're in business. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Don't look now, but Taboo and his brother are still with us. Well, don't worry about them. Let them get their own girls, huh? I wonder if they massage. Too bad my prayers went unanswered. Prayers for me? Yes. That you be washed overboard. <laughs> Despite your prayers, I managed to obtain some excellent diving equipment and two American divers. I think our plan. Our is... plan? I want no part of it. Your two Americans will die like all the others. It's just cold blooded murder. Hey, how about those chicks? Huh? Steady, steady. Now, remember Australia. Oh, all that trouble. Yes, we're not going to get involved with girls again. Now, no, remember? sir. Never. No, sir. Okay. Well, well. Well. Your turn. Tilt. Your Highness, may I present our guests? Highness? Highness? Gentlemen, you are in the presence of my cousin, Princess Lala of the Two. Oh, well, the name's Gridley, Princess. Harold Gridley. Sportsman, raconteur, polo player, and all-around good egg. Well, don't lay it here, huh? I... Welcome to that, too, gentlemen. George Cochran at your service, Your Highness. Oh, the Continental. Go, go, run. Play with the peasants. I'll take care of the royalty. Do you mind? Oh, but, but me? Go now, go. Do you my... always fight over girls? Well, what else can we fight over? We've never had any money. That's for Washington. Now, let's be fair. Let's be fair, Leroy. If you can't pay, they give you time. Mm. Now, true. Follow me, gentlemen. Where else? Coming. They have become friendly. It is a bad omen. Omens are for old women. The sharks will soon be picking their bones. <laughs> this kid carries her own antenna. Man, this is quite a quantity. Amazing what you can do with a GI loan. They must have gambling here. Just in time. Who's there? She was my mother, Queen Tama of that too. Beautiful. And he was my father. Didn't anybody in the family wear the pants? Colorful old chap, wasn't he? Certainly must have got around some. Father sailed a merchant ship that called here. He liked the island, met mother, and remained. I'd like to remain here myself. You're reading my mind. You, you're the one who always wants to go home. I'm home. This is it. Something wrong, Princess? Uh, you must be very tired after your voyage. You must rest before... Before what? Uh, before tonight, I'm having a feast in your honor. 
Oh, Run out to the car and get my finger bowl, huh? Do you need your chopsticks? Just my fork and a pusher. Hurry back, boy. I, I may I, join you. I think I'll come along. Hey. Wow. We... Not bad without a reservation, huh? huh? Rest well. I will see you tonight. Yeah, leave a call. We'll call you later. Here, here. Don't overmatch yourself, old man. We may get a little rain later. How oh, about that? Hey, what a spot this is. Isn't this lush? It's Central Park with twin beds. Would you like me to shoot you a squirrel before your nap time? You wouldn't do that, Daniel Boone. I might knock off a rodent. Oh, this will do for me, George. This will do it. Exactly. Good night, all. Here, get That's your it. shoes off. You're in a palace. Oh, I've always wanted to play the palace. Draw the blinds, Alf. It's siesta time for the soap. Very well, sir. Check back with me. Man, I could spend the rest of my life with a joint like this. Oh, you say that every time you get in a bed. Oh, I'm in a haze that Lala intoxicates me. That could be. She's half scotch. And with me for a chaser. I'll just don't end in another hangover. <sighs> Freedom. I better get some black polish. This may be formal tonight. Out of my way, who do you think you are? It's the toe of my boot, the man if you push too far. A hoot, a man, this is the day I celebrate my birth. The seventh son of a seventh son of a son of a gun from birth. Who can play the drums? Is there a piper in the town? Have to put the kilts on and come right down. All ye brawny lads, whether you're poor or man of wealth. Meet me in the tavern to drink my health. Who's that standing in my past? Don't you know you're face to face with Robbie McMath? Robbie McMath. Oh. Hey, hoot him on out of my way. Who do you think you are? It's the toe of my boot. Come on if you push too far. Hoot him on. This is the day I celebrate my birth. The seventh son of a seventh son of a son of a gun from birth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Say, Haggis. What is it, McBaggers? Have you heard the latest about McTavish? What's he done now? He's living on the roof. Why would he be living on the roof? He heard someone say the drinks are on the house. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are on the house. <laughs> you know, but we... It's a little late, so good night, folks. Economy, sir. Thanks a heap. Next week, it's my turn to wear the girdle. Why don't you entertain us a little, huh? Do your disappearing act. Over. Oh, in. I know that one. You mean the Hindu rope trick. How does he dress in a revolving door? 
I'm sure you've heard of this. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. This must be the one where they throw the rope up in the air, climb up and disappear. It's nothing. It's sort of a mass hypnosis. Where did you learn words like that? This kid was drummed out of kindergarten for cheating and finger painting. I was framed. <laughs> now watch. What else is new? I've heard about vanishing cream, but vanishing blubber. Fight him off, Princess! Here comes Jack up the beach, dog. Down, boy, down, boy. How's the beast in the penthouse? Ah, Space Cadet returned. Did you get my card, Jock? Had a wonderful time. I'm glad you were here. Oh, very funny. It's easy for you to get up there. Oh, and it's mass hypnosis. Mass hypnosis. You're full of helium. <laughs> Say, how about a little black magic for me, Princess? Here's an exciting bit of hocus pocus. If a cobra comes out of there, it's yours. I'll split it with you. Oh. You pay your dues? I saw it, and I don't believe it. <laughs> I... I'm starting to believe it. What a fool. In scout camp, they had basket weaving, and I took up wood burning. You wouldn't listen to me. Give me the pipe. Say, hey, pardon me, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm going into business for myself. I'll check with you in a fortnight. Junior's always eager to improve himself, always trying to pick up something new. Say, Princess, what about you and I seeking out some leafy dell where we can discuss you in terms of me, hmm? George, I must talk to you and Harold. Oh, forget about Harold. He's a, he's a hustler, a philanderer, a roué. I want to tell you something. He ran out on a very lovely girl down in Australia. And on their wedding day, too. I think he's attractive. Can't hear you. Not reaching me at all. I think you're attractive, too. Contact. Actually, as a matter of fact, there's nothing special about me. I'm just an average, all-around, all-American boy with an excess of charm. Harold told me that, too. About me? About him. Oh, so conceited, that lad. <laughs> Delightful place you have here, Princess. It'd be lovely just to lay around here and grow old. George, huh? you and Harold will never grow old, unless you escape at once. Escape? My cousin, Kenner Rock, is a scheming murderer. Oh, I think he's a pretty nice guy. He's a little formal, a little cold, perhaps. You but... do not know him. He has sent many men to their death in the sea. A little physical, too, huh? Kenner Rock will let nothing stand in the way of his ambition. Years ago, my father set out for Bali to sell a chest of valuable jewels. The boat sank on a reef outside of our lagoon. Neither my father nor the jewels have ever been recovered. Oh. That's the treasure they want us to haul up out of the briny, huh? Many have tried, but none have succeeded. No wonder they offered us 50,000 guilders to get it. You must escape tonight. Oh, no, Princess. You're looking at a big guilder man. You must go, I tell you. Down in the wreck of the boat lives 
Bogotan. Bogo who? Bogotan, a giant squid. <laughs> Let him live a little. The squid is a terror. He's an enormous monster with, with bone-crushing tentacles, a, a man-eater. It means certain death to the diver. Certain death to the diver, huh? Well, Harold laughs at death. We must warn him. Tell him about Bogotan. I don't know. I may have some trouble talking him out of this. He, he loves to challenge this boy. Death is his bread, danger his butter. You've got to convince him. <laughs> I'm going to butter him up pretty good. Where can he be? And what can he be doing? Oh, hoot man, going to the It's the boy, Hootman. Hootman. Oh, what a hoot. <laughs> what a business. I finally learned that trick. Who ran second? Well, I was... You, hey, I've been playing this flute all night. Had to clear it with Petrillo. Georgette, stash that in the icebox, will you please? Thank you, Jaja. Listen, hmm. don't you ever disappear like that on me again. I was worried into a positive tizzy about you. You worried? Yes, I was. About me? Certainly. Well, bless your big, fat, motherly heart. What's to worry? Well, in spite of everything I can say, and I put in plenty of knocks, that palpitating princess is all a Twitter over you. Me? Really? Yes. Well, this girl is not only charming, she's intelligent. You better be oh. careful, boy. She'll marry you and make you a prince. You'll spend the rest of your miserable life just lolling around munching mangoes and falling apart and having girls wait on you and stuff like that. I can't let this happen to you. You're all I've got. I'll buy you a dog. Destiny calls the young prince. Surely you can't want this. Well, it's a living. Oh, well. Okay, pal. I won't stand in your way. I guess after all, I booted it. I goofed when I told her what a hero you are. Oh, hoot, my boy tonight, who do you think you are? Boy, what a relief. He just think tomorrow at dawn, you'll be coming up out of the water with the treasure. Have a big, sumptuous wedding. Yeah, dancing girls, coconut frappes, music. Oh, boy. Hey, how am I going to come up with the treasure? Because you're going down for it. Oh, I see. I can... Wait a minute. Not me. No, I even get the bends when I'm ducking for apples. You're the diver. <laughs> I'm the diver? Yeah, you're the diver. Oh, Harold, you don't know what this means to me. This is the nicest thing you've ever done, letting me be Lala's number one boy. Well, it, well this, this changes everything. Well, I thought I was Lala's boy. You were, but you resigned. It's all mine. Now I go down a pauper, I come up a prince. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. That's the way it's going to be. I'm going to be dunked. No, 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 no. I can't let you do it. It's too dangerous. Ha! I laugh at danger. <laughs> okay. If you insist, you get the jewels, you get the princess. Night. I get the jewels, I get the princess, and I couldn't happen to a nicer girl.
fool with the fun flute unless you check with the master. Gentlemen, it is time. Oh, my princess is impatient. Latimer, lay out my top hat, white tie, and swim fins. Very good, Murgatroyd. Do hurry. Harold, are you sure you know what you're doing? Do I know what I'm doing, you lucky girl? Then George told you. Exhale a little, will you? I want to slip this over your head. Hey, you haven't got anything in straw with a wider brim, a long oval, have you? No, no. Oh, you wouldn't have that here. Well, just try it out for size. Any it? size will do. This kid's head's a little pointy. You know, he takes anything from a three to a nine and oh. seven eight. Suck in your nose, dear. There we are. Oh, there you are. Pretty snug, huh? I'd ask you in, but it's a little crowded yes, there. I How see. can you two joke? Well, it's easy when you're brave. Oh, he's plenty brave, this fellow. Yeah, I take brave pills. You Say, bet. tell her about the time at Catalina when I got that big barge off the bottom. Boy, was she heavy. Oh, but a lovely girl. Yeah, yes. she was a big... Yeah. I... Here, Annette, you may want to do your nails down there. Oh, thanks. He usually sticks it in my back, you know. Take two. We're having a one-cent sale. Don't forget my Roy Rogers water pistol. You want to take a plumber's helper down with you? No, I work alone, you know. Good Harold, deal. before you go down, I want you to think again. No, no, no. No time to start thinking. He's going to start thinking. Hey, how about a little kiss for your hero, just for luck, huh? Sorry, madam. Next window, please. Remind him of Bogotan. Oh, yes. Bogotan. Bogotan. Hey. Huh? Where's he running? Wait, wait. wait. Just one minute. Lean in here, will you? Oh, you should have thought of that before. Oh, but fellas! Oh, no, we can't go through that again. Now, if your wool underwear starts to itch, it'll just have to itch. Oh, well, get me another pair of hands for inside. I thought you worked alone. I know, but this is different. Mm -hmm. Should have put some water in the radiator. We could have made a cup of tea. That is enough. Over the side. Come. Oh, thanks, pal. I'll bring you back some salt water taffy. Yeah. Cut the fit the kisser, huh? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Tie it tight, sugar. Stay right if you find work, won't you? Okay, I'm oh, going. Geronimo! We're going. Hey, Buster, are you okay? 
Hey, Buster, exhale a little. Exhale just once. Buster. Hey, Buster. Buster. Joey, look out! He's not in there. Obviously, Boca Ten has claimed the American. Now, Lala, it is time to feed the sharks. Put down that gun. Your days of telling me what to do are over. Without you, I have the island, the jewels, everything. For this moment, I have waited all my life. You try to put the finger on us, boy, and you're going to have a lot of trouble with your breathing. <laughs> Oh, Buster, oh, my boy! Oh, Harry, oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a man! What a battle! Oh, come on, boy! Oh. Who's there? I'm Who's just there? closing the gate. Splat happy, this boy. Now he worries about oh, me. Oh, we're proud of you, Bubbles. Proud of you. Put on your We party, thought you kid. were gone. Yeah, yeah, many brave hearts are asleep in the deep. Good thing he's a coward, huh? Oh. He's wonderful. Oh, no, it was really nothing. I had him groggy with a headlock, but he hit me with an ink bottle. Well, I thought that was chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. We cannot go back to that, too. He will have our throats cut. Oh, dear. That'll hurt my high notes. That might help. You could sing duets. What a novel. We must go on to Bally. Bally? Bally. There we can sell the jewels. We must sail at once. I'll pack. Hey, wait a minute. Hmm? I want to ask you something. I've been wondering, uh... How did you get out of that suit? Out of the diamond suit? Yeah. Well, it was easy. You see, I was down at the bottom, and I... It's worth millions, George. Millions. Looks like Ali Khan's garbage can. Yeah, the top layer. I think I'll have cufflinks made of these. Tell me, you think this is too much? Oh, no, I think that'll work. I, you know, if you wear it right, With a right. baby spot on it. Oh, they're all Lala's. Oh, yeah, and Lala's all mine. What a parlay, huh? You know, when I become prince, the first thing I'm going to do is pass a community property law. Oh, yes, do that. That pops me in right away. What line? What form? Oh, fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. I may put this under canvas. Let me see this. Hey. Shame to you. You're a grown man. Well, she's a grown girl. Yeah. Wonder where you grow this stuff, huh? If you find out, give me a call, will you? Yeah. I'll be topside. I gotta take my turn at the uh, wheel. Uh, slow down. I'm in. Back, 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 back. You're pretty alert, huh? <laughs> More than you know. I got these counted, you know. Really? One, two, three, four. Well, I'll four. see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check now. Check, check. Come. I'll bet get in there I once better. These are not vitamin pills, you know. Well, they are to me, <laughs> old man. How did my school teacher get in there? Oh, oh take this on a weekend. Who oh, else want it? She's gonna sing, folks. Now's the time to go out and get the popcorn. Before you can say I like you. You've got to know people a while. Watch their little tricks, listen to their talk. See the way they walk and how they smile. That's a rule that's tried and true. A rule that you're the one exception to. To see you. And I see you everywhere In the sunrise, in the moon glow Any place I look, 
you're there To see you is to want you And I see you all the time On a sidewalk, in a doorway On the lonely stairs I climb Someday let me show you How happy endings start You'll find how well I know you Cause to know you at all Is to know you by heart To see you Is to love you And you're never out of sight And I love you And I'll see you In the same old dream tonight Only two more of these silvery nights and we'll be in ballet. I kind of hate to think of leaving you, Lala. You mustn't think of it because you mustn't do it. Oh, I've been away a long, long time. I, I got to get back, catch some ball games, see how the pirates are doing. Do you still have pirates in America? Yeah, but they're nothing to be afraid of. Probably hiding in the cellar someplace. But it's a fantastic place, the USA, Lala. Just take any town. Take a town, for instance, like the garden spot of North America. The lush, picturesque Riviera of the Middle West. Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, <sighs> Ohio. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Such a musical name. Oh, it's a music town. There's a jukebox in every bowling alley. <laughs> Lala, would you go to America with me? George. I mean, marry me and go to America, of course. Oh, it would be wonderful, but what about Harold? Well, we could adopt him. Adopt him? Of course, we'd have to send him away to school. Oh, it's a little late for that, isn't it? Oh, no, baby, he's got to go sometime, that boy. <laughs> That's enough! Why, you collapsible Como, you, you and your pirates. What do you want to do, brag about the Cleveland Indians? At least they're in the major league. Oh, and they throw underhanded. That's gratitude for you. I try to plan your education, and you turn on me like a mad dog. I wish I were a mad dog. I'd give you distemper. Now, just, and listen, don't uh, plan my education. I'm illiterate enough now. Listen, Lala, if you're going anywhere, you're going with me. Oh, no, she's not. I don't know what to do. Junior, don't you think you should go Betty by? Betty by? And leave you here with this Balinese pound cake? Lala, you gotta make up your mind and right now. Oh, that's no way to talk to your mother. Listen, Mom, I, it's la 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 la. You I... promised to marry me if I got the treasure, didn't you? What? She didn't promise you, I did. You know what a liar I am. Oh, so that's it. Got... You're up here uh, uh... pitching with this doll while I'm down there ad libbing with that deep sea claw machine. Harold, oh. Harold, I do love you. Oh, I thought so. But I love George, too. Well, if you like the other generation, they're restful. Uh, I'm so confused. I. I love you for what you are. A liar. I love Harold for what he was. Yeah. Sometime, somewhere. This kid's gone. Oh, oh, dear me, she's in sections. We better get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of this. What was I? Where? When? Probably some agonizing episode from her childhood. Oh. We'll have to probe the subconscious with a little psychiatry. Here, Lala. Just lie down, dear. Right down. Here, dear. Uh -oh. Carefully now. All right. There. Comfy? Yes, Doctor. There's a lot of quack in this boy. Now, Lala, we want to delve into your past. We want to go way back into your childhood, sort of a flashback. Well, when I got to be six or seven, I remember I was terribly lonely. I had no one to play with until one day my father brought me a little companion. Come, Sandy, please play with me. Please, Sandy. Sandy! Oh, not me. You got the wrong monkey. Well, I'll leave it up to you, Lala. You want me for what I am, or you want this chump for the chimp he used to be? Kick it around a while. I'm going downstairs and peel Buster a banana. Yeah, and play with your mice while you're there. 
say, now that the imposter's gone, why don't we get into... Harold, the wheel. You'd better take it. These are dangerous waters. Coral reefs, racing currents. But, baby, I got racing currents of my own. Check. You and George certainly are romantic. George? Romantic? Oh, I use him for a warm-up boy. I send him ahead on all these situations. Say, but speaking of large hips, tell me, how'd you like his singing? Oh, it was beautiful. Princess, I got news for you. Can't sing a note. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. I do all the singing, you see. He just, he just mows a little. That's part of my warm-up. And I've got to sing slow, because if he mows too fast, his plate starts to slip. Well, but he... No, you see, I'm a ventriloquist. That's part of our act. I'll show you. How are you down there? Fine. How are you? <laughs> you see? That's the way Carol, we... Carol, the what? wheel! Whoa. Captain Hornblower, come on, get it. What do we got here? Oh, he always did gulp his food, you know. Guess we may get his appendix here in a minute. Aha, uh -huh, one of the bobbles. I think we better have this lad fluoroscoped, huh? Uh, uh. All right. What happened? Is the picture over? No, you're all right now. You're all right. Just relax. There must be a village on this island somewhere. You think so? We can buy another boat and go on the valley. Hey, that's a real crazy anthill. I hope they got a motel with hot and cold running lava, huh? Yeah. Look, a bottle. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Hey, there's a message in it. What does it say? Yeah, let's see. It says, return this bottle to Sam's supermarket for three cents deposit. Isn't it a pity? Every movie's got to have a message. Oh, about that. Well, let's get out of this bunker, huh? <laughs> Wait. Oh, work inland here. Hold it. Hold it. Just a minute. I haven't been smacked in the face this much since my first rumble seat. Let's change places. As you wish. Push on, Princess. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Something wrong here. Look, let me go ahead. I'll break the trail before it breaks me. Lead on, Livingston. breaking trail a little high? An animal snare. Now we know there are people on this island. Hey, there's people up here, too. I wonder what the locals are like. Hmm? Oh. oh. I hope they're not cannibals or headhunters. Oh, yeah. I hope they're orange pickers. I want to get off this tree. Oh, stop squawking. You'll fall off when you're ripe. I feel like a windsock. Hey, where are you going? Diggers, Buster. Quiet. Somebody's coming. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Who was that? That's my brother, Bob. I promised him a shot in the picture. He's handsome. Yes, it's, it's a family characteristic. No! Get me down. My brain's rushing to my head. Harold. Oh, yeah. The dangler. Let's get the sap out of the tree. This is the sloppiest hanging I ever attended. You're saved. A pardon just came from the governor. Easy now. Steady. Oh. Hey, I wish I had a snapshot of this for the tuna club, huh? Up, Sir Daisy. Let's get him. Be careful now. Okay. Take it easy now. Whoop. Oh, I'll never say bottoms up again. You got me down just in time. I was oh. getting tan in the wrong places. Put your weight on this tree now. Hold it and I'll cut the thong. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, fine. Blood's coming back to my toes. Now if I can only get my toes back to my feet. It's good for your sinuses up there. Yeah. Hey! Oh, now! Oh, this boy loves to travel. Come on, we bring him a Band-Aid. Harold! 
This way, nurse, and bring my toy boats. Harold! Over here! Look! Buster, come on out of there. Not me, I'm staying out of here where it's safe. Hurry now, come on, get out of there. Look at back at you. Look, look! Oh. Oh. Come on, let her kick. Where's your kick, boy? Come on, boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got no. you. Come on, I got you. Yeah, but if you got all of me. Oh. Oh. Hey, I feel a breeze. A breeze? <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Color television. Where? Wide screen, too. Really? Am I in it? Well, it's just your best angle. I wish I had my rear view mirror. Look! The African Queen. Humphrey Bogart. Boy, is he lost. Hey, hey, Bogey. Hey, jungle fever, that's what we got. That was just a mirage. Oh, yeah, what about this? Humphrey Bogart's Academy Award. And Oscar, give me that, you got one. <sighs> Friends, this is a great occasion, me receiving this Academy Award. And I'd like to say a word. Run! That's the word. What do we got here, a jungle motel? It's a little south for a brown derby, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, anybody home? I'm a member of the automobile club. This is cold, there's been nobody here for some time. We can spend the night here. Yeah, I'll go sign the register. Princess Lala, the Honorable George, Cochran, and manservant. Hey, hey, I found a gun. Yeah, so we heard. Oh, that's wonderful. Now one of you can go out and hunt some food. Oh, you're so right, Lala. Say, here, Annie Oakley, run out and shoot us a filet mignon, medium rare, huh? Yeah, don't hurry. Hey, hey, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're the sharpshooter, Nix. This boy played second shotgun with the Spike Jones band. Oh, not me. The last thing I shot was two sixes. Please, will one of you go out and hunt some food before it gets too dark? Okay, I'll tell you what we do. Winner stays here with Lala, huh? Go. Republicans are everywhere. That's the junior branch. Sleep, huh? No. Neither could I, and for the same reason. <coughs> May I sit down? <laughs> Chilly, isn't it? You need something around you, preferably me. Oh, this is so peaceful. Yeah, it's what I've always wanted. Fireside, home, backyard with flowers, vegetable garden, a couple of oil wells. A home. That's what every girl dreams of. Yeah, well, I'll make your dreams come true, honey. What about George? Well, we can always make him our babysitter. Of course, we'll have to lock up the liquor. Shall we build up the fire? Say, I'm in flames now, Lala. Live, girl. I never knew love could be such a problem. Well, what's the problem? Aunt Emma, our chaperone's asleep in there. What do we do when we get to Bally? Well, you're going to marry me, naturally. Aren't you? Well, I... Yes? No? You won't say yes and you won't say no You let my poor heart pound But you smile at me and around I go On the merry-go-round around you build me up till the sky seems low, then plop, I hit the ground. But you hold my hand, and around I go on the merry-go-round, around.
when a friend says to me, where the heck are you bound? What the deuce can I say? Just around and around and around. You won't say leave and you won't say whoa. I've tried to get unwound. But you kiss me once and around I go on the merry-go-round around. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you won't say yes and you won't say no You let my poor heart pound But you smile at me and around I go On a merry-go-round around You build me up till the sky seems low Then pop, I hit the ground But you hold my hand and around I go On a merry-go-round around Dumbo, what's the why do you cut into my scene? Please, I'm singing. Singing? You'll never go any place with your singing. You can't even cry. I may have a nervous breakdown in this spot. Have one up in a tree, will you? Yes, I'll say hello to your relatives. You won't say leave and you won't say whoa. But you kiss me once and around I go on the merry-go-round around. Yes, and I won't say no. I let your poor heart pound. But you smile at me and around I go on the merry-go-run around. You build us up till the sky seems low, then pop, I hit the ground. But you hold our hand and around we go on the merry-go-run around. When a friend says to me, where the heck are you bound? What the deuce can I say? Just around and around and around. You won't say leave and you won't say whoa. Oh! Who dare? I tried to get on one. But you kiss me once and around I go. On the merry go round and round. Detective here? I don't know. What happened? Let's see. Where? Where? Where you hey, look, look out. Huh? the dead one's mate. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> the winner, new champion. Boy, I better put out the cat. That gun's I, no good. No, no, no. no. Watch this. Look out. Where'd it go? Relax, man. Be here all winter. Yeah, let's dig in. Phone the command post, huh? Hey, what is this? Morning lineup? Huh? Get up. She's not here. Lala's gone. Maybe some dirty rat kidnapped her. Oh, couldn't be. We're both here. Oh, you. I'd go out. Watch the path that winds by the wishing tree. It ends beneath my window, and there I'll be. And there I'll wait for the love I long for. How come we don't fall? Paramount wouldn't dare. At your age. <laughs> Shall we then? Inhale. <laughs> hey, come on out of there. Yeah, time's a wasting. I'll see you back at the hut. Oh, no, we couldn't leave a poor defenseless girl like you out alone in this jungle. Yeah, you need two defenseless men to protect you. Speak for yourself. <laughs> All right, turn your head. Selfish. My hair ribbon, it's gone. Hair ribbon? What about your sarong? You stay there while I get dressed. What about your sarong? That's nice talk. Well, I was just asking. Cover up all. your eyes like she said. Oh, you never want to have any fun. Innocent fun. That's my it? type of girl, the athletic type. Well, when the right kind of a girl comes along, you'll be swept off your feet. Yeah. My type of girl's right back there, I want to tell you that. After all, I know all about swimming, you know. I was, I used to grease them for the channel swim. There's plenty of oil left over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, George, come on, cut it out, will you? Come on, stop you. <laughs> hey, hey, help! George, jump, help! Oh, Harold, you pick up with the darndest people. Harold! George, George, where'd you go? Buster, Buster, don't get excited now. Play it, play it real cool, Buster. Don't, 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 don't antagonize her. What? That's the dead gorilla's mate, Buster. What does she now? What does she want? Revenge? No, no, I'm, I'm afraid not. <laughs> oh, please, Just hurry, George. This kid's a juvenile delinquent. <laughs> keep cool. You keep cool. I'm numb. I, I'll, I'll think of something. George, keep cool. real cool. I'm too cool. <laughs> Watch it now. Why am I attractive to young widows? Oh, Buster, I don't like the look in her eyes. <laughs> oh, George, get a rock, a club. <laughs> Anything, kill one of us! Okay. George! George! <laughs> Sing to her. You know, music hath charms to soothe the savage beast. Breast, that is. Beast, breast, sing! To see you is to love you, and I see you everywhere. In the sunrise, in the moon glow, everywhere I look, you're there. Down, baby. Down, I got a frog in my throat. Down there. Soothe them. Sing. Sing. To see you is to want you, to love you. And I see you. Buster, keep singing. And if you get tired, call Gary. Hey, Buster, help. No. Help. Harold, George, help. There's a 
They're after me. Who? The natives. The natives. Well, get the jewels and run. Hey, hey, keep working. Sign up the gorilla. The natives are here. Sing. Sort of singing native. Oh, lost it. Sing, I tell you. Go, go. See you. Oh, and they love you. Here. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. What happened? Mosquitoes. A rear guard action. It's a poison dart. What? Call an ambulance. I'm wounded. Go! <laughs> oh. We got you, huh? Tell me this is only a vitamin shot, honey. This is a Dr. G. Dr. Who? who? It won't kill you. It'll just cause muscular convulsions, then a coma. Dr. G means the laughing twitch. Dr. G. Dr. G. Dr. G. Shake it, shake it, Lou. Go sit in the audience if you're going to laugh like that. Laugh with that bounce. I wish I was a little pig that stayed home. Well, don't worry till they put an apple in your mouth. Then you're in trouble, boy. Come on. What's this bit? How many times have I told you, don't play with your food? Don't play with the food? Vermin, that's a crawling maggot. Say, uh, did you hear that kid's mother? Those cats are cannibals. Maybe they're only headhunters. Only headhunters? This is the only head I got. I'm very attached to it. What do you mean? They throw the rest away? Well, right now, I wish I was back with that sweet, lovely gorilla. Oh, yes. I'm carrying a little bit of a torch for her myself. Oh. Look, the barbecue boys are back. Look Chef Milani and his brother. You keep your hands on me! Right 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 there you Let's go, Rocha. Right. Well, they took her. Why'd they take just her? Maybe they start with a dessert, huh? I wonder where they're, they're going. Uh, oh, they can't really be headhunters. No. No, I just... Hey, what are those? Popsicles? Looks like my draft board. On your knees, woman. On your knees to Bumada. High priest of Nuata. I kneel to no one. Raj Patik. That scotch weave, where did you get it? Long ago from a white man. He wore it like the skirt of a woman. This man, was he called McTavish? Yes, that is how he was called, Makatavish. Makatavish was my father. Wonder if he's dead. You are Princess Lala? Your father was my good friend. Still warm in my heart. And for his daughter, anything you wish for shall be done. On the Lala Lala Divetoa. Twenty-one gong salute. <laughs> <laughs> Just listen at that, will you? For whom the bells toll. Yeah, I saw that picture. Very few laughs. Even Gary Cooper got killed. Yep. yep. Well, I don't mind getting killed, but they're going to torture us. Oh, no. No, I couldn't stand torture. Me neither. No, they're not going to torture me. It hurts. Well, there's only one thing to do. Yeah. Ready? <whistles> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake a cake as fast as you. I love both men, Harold and George. Then your highness has no problem. Here on Nuata, a woman can have as many husbands as she can afford. I can marry them both? And why not? <laughs> White women have many husbands too, but only one at a time. Here we do not like the installment plan. Marry them both. 
Oh, that is wonderful, Bomada. Happiness is like smoke in the wind. So quickly gone. Let it be done now, at once. Very well. See to it that the two white men are prepared for a royal wedding to the princess. Royal wedding? Mazel tov. Thank you. Mazel tov. Thank you. A royal wedding. Mazel tov. <laughs> now we will visit our chief, Ramayana. No, no, no. You can't eat me. Look, I'm skinny, I'm stringy, I'm tough. I'll give you indigestion. We do not eat you. Oh, no. You ought to be married. Married? Well, I, uh, now, wait a minute. I'm not going to marry you. Go ahead. Eat me. Kill me. I'm fat, I'm plump, I'm delicious. No one present aftertaste. Go ahead. You do not marry me. You marry the princess of Batu. What? You mean Lala? So, she finally came to her senses, huh? Lala. What is this, my trousseau? <laughs> Reminds me of a blind date I once had in Cleveland. Well, that's perfect. You may proceed to groom the groom. Oh, poor George. This will kill him. Oh, well, some of us have it and some of us don't. But I feel like such a cad having so much of it. Please, I've undressed myself since I was 17. Well, I see my wedding headdress is back from the dentist. Oh, 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 Meyer, 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 easy on the cologne. Let's be subtle, shall we, hmm? Insidious, like. Ah, me, I feel so deliriously demilish. Some of us have it, and some of us don't. <laughs> Poor Harold. He must have misplaced it. You may pour just a little cooking sherry, huh? You are every bit as beautiful as I have been told, Princess Lala. Chief Ramiana has heard of me? Yes, my dear cousin. Can a rock. It is good to see you, Lala. And this, too. That's mine, you thief. Not a thief, my cousin, but a matchmaker. My dear wives are aging rapidly. And they bore me. You, Princess, will bring youth into my home. <laughs> youth. It's wonderful. No. No! This cannot be. Silence! Take the princess into the bridal hut. She has spirit, too. In the morning, in the light of reason, oh. she will agree to our bargain, Ramiana. You cannot do this thing. She has given her heart to the two Americans. Those white mice. I have an idea. Instead of their hearts, Lala shall have their heads shrunken. So, they make lovely bedposts. <laughs> but Ramayana, listen to the wedding chants. Already the two grooms are being prepared. We cannot stop this ceremony without insulting the gods and your people. Why not have your ceremony with two grooms and no bride? Excellent. Two grooms. And no pride. No! Rajang, the god of the sleeping volcano, will not permit the sacrilege of a wedding without a bride. Who rules this island, you or the volcano? You are right. I rule this island. I! Not that volcano! Rajang, god of the sleeping volcano, do you approve of this action? You see? A silly superstition for old women. You do not fool Ramayana with your ventriloquism. Yes. Now go. Attend the wedding of the two grooms. Without a bride. <laughs> Oh, say, muscles. Is the bride gonna wear one of these, too? Yes. 
Well, I'm game if she's game. We'll win the door prize, sure. Hey, wait a minute. Does the princess wear one of these two? Yes. Oh, this could lead to a ticklish situation. Ah, nice fit. Ah. Wedding ceremony begin. With this wine, I pronounce you man and wife. Advise me when they awaken. I have plans for them. I got a hold of him. Hey, hey, what is the idea here? Somebody switched roommates on me. Where's my wife? This woman's a man. You do not have a wife. Are you kidding, Jack? I'm Prince Harold of that, too. You? I married Lala. You did not marry the princess. Wait a minute. I married her. You did not marry her. Are you kidding? Look. I put on this bug-eyed beanie. I sweated my I way into that pullover again. I got feathers up my nose. I, I was wrapped. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I... Not... One of us has got to go to Reno. Let's hurry before Luella grabs us. Huh? Where's Lala? Princess Where? Lala's to become the seventh wife of our chief. Wait a minute. What becomes of us? You have five minutes to live. Will we feel it? Oh, no. We use sodium pentarium. Oh, that's sweet. Isn't that thoughtful? Well, Buster? I guess this is it. Well... At least we're going out together. We've been through a lot together, old pal. I can't complain, though. We've had a lot of laughs. I just hope in your heart of hearts you can forgive me for the few, the few little bitty times when I tried to con you. Yeah, there's a storm coming up here, huh? I forgive you, George. 
No, you've always meant well. I must have been a trial to you. Hey, we might get postponed here on account of rain. Well, Harold, you know, of course, I don't have to tell you what you've meant to me. We've been through so much together. And here we are in life, as in death, we face it together. C'est la guerre. La guerre. Okay. Meat and no tomato. You all right, honey? Yes, dear. Come on, let's get away from this weenie roast. We got the jewels. Yeah, I don't want to be a rich cinder. Come on, come on. Come on. Look at all that rice going down there, huh? Yeah, rice. It's symbolic. Symbolic? Well, yeah, rice, you know, pudding. <laughs> and weddings, too, eh, Princess? Look, a ship. We're saved. We must get to the beach. Yeah. Hey, the ship's captain can perform the ceremony. I'll take care of my own wedding arrangements, if you don't mind. Mm. Mm. If you're a real nice boy, I'll let you give the bachelors dinner. You're a little heavy, but you can be flower girl. This girl's marrying me, Buster. Oh, this kid needs me in her work. Now, wait. Wait just a minute here. All right, let's settle this once and for all before we get on the ship. Let's toss a coin. Coins? We're tapped. I got a better idea. We'll Indian wrestle. Okay. We're... Oh, no. Last time I won, you gave me an Indian. Here, let Lala decide. We'll draw straws. Oh, yeah. If she draws the long straw, she gets me. The short one, you. Yes, and I'll hold the straws, huh? Please, All right. please. Hmm? I've already made up my mind. Ah, tough, tough luck, old man. man. Too bad. Gee. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harold. You pick him? Yes. Oh, how nearsighted can you be? Oh, cheer up, Buster. You'll find somebody. Try the Lonely Hearts Club, eh? No. Oh. Lala's the only girl in the world for me. Hey, you've got a basket there. Now, if you just had your magic flute, you'd be in business. Well, it just so happens. Ah, uh, that's my gallant little man. He's always thinking. My problem. Hey! Hey! Hey, come back! Wait for me! Oh, no, you don't. Stay right where you are, folks. This picture isn't over yet. Stay right there. Keep your seat. Hey! Come here! Hey! Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. 
No, stay right there. Keep it. Hey, George! Jane, Laura! Hey! Oh, no. No, stay right there. George! Get the writers. Get the producers. Get my agents. Get a girl. Get, 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 get